What's up, you guys? My name is Courtney Revolution, AKA your he of tea. And as you guys know, 2020 is right around the corner. So we thought here at Holly Scoop, it would be an excellent idea for me to look deep into my crystal teapot, pull out a couple names and see what the future holds. Just in case y'all didn't know, Madison put some of these names in here. So we're gonna see. Oh, we've got Kourtney Kardashian. Now let me tell you what Miss Kourtney Kardashian is gonna be getting up to within the next year. Now Miss Poosh herself is gonna pack a bag and it's gonna have a camera, some SD cards, and her babies. And she's going to get her PJ, that's a, uh, you know, private jet for us poor folk. And she's gonna fly it all around the world and she's gonna show us what makes her the top richest mommy in the world. I'm ready for it, are you? All right, we've got Jana, AKA Jake Paul and Tana Mojo. And honestly, I think that Jana, they're going to officially get a divorce for their fake marriage. I think that they're going to fake break up and they might have a fake child and they might take it to fake daycare and do all sorts of fakery. So I'm hoping that they win an actual award for world's most authentic, fakest couple. Cardi B. Now, this is very special because, you know, when I look into my crystal teapot, there's a bunch of different ways that Miss Belle Callis, AKA Belle Callis, can go. Now, I'm hoping that in the future, Cardi B will purchase a notebook and perhaps some glitter pens. Um, I actually enjoy the ones that write real nice and perhaps, maybe, just maybe, y'all, Cardi B might write a sonnet. I would hope so, a haiku or something. We've got Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson. Well, I can tell you one thing that I know for a fact, because we're nice here at Holly Scoop, we know for a fact that in 2020, Miley will heal all of her vocal cords. However, I don't exactly see her, you know, making Cody Simpson a relevant celebrity on our roster. Like, could you imagine um, actually opening up your phone and playing a Cody Simpson song? Um, I've looked into my crystal teapot and uh, I don't see it for him, sis. Uh, Y'all, this one says Jordan Woods. Now let me get it together. Let me, Jordan, I very much see your YouTube channel taking off. And I see you winning a streamy. I see you being the queen of VidCon. And I see you attaching a ponytail for every bald man, woman, or child in this world. Yes, ma'am, Jordan Woods is the scalp savior. Now, Madison, why you put this in here? I'm sorry. This is Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. And you know what? I predict that we're finally gonna uncover the scam that is the sham that is Shawn and Cam. This say Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Now, here's what's in the future for the world's biggest clown. I am seeing, Chloe, that you will be a good mother to Miss True Thompson. However, I do see you still remaining America's favorite wealthy clown. Put your nose on, beep, beep. Now, I do see a lot of happiness in Chloe's life, but that is only after Tristan has embarrassed her for the umpteenth time and she has picked up all of her pieces and gotten the strength to, you know, carry on. This one says, Travis Scott and not the old sweet row, not the old bitter row, but the young sweet row. Now we might have uncovered that Miss Sweet Row could be a sham. However, that does not mean that she doesn't still look like Miss Kylie Jenner. Now, if Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner fall apart officially with no hooking up in the midst, young sweet Ro will still have her degree. Travis will swing on by, pick her up from the graduation, and the two of them will live happily ever after. Oh, perfect. Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner. Now, I don't believe that they're together. I believe that Stormy's parents, yes, they are wealthy as the day is long, but I don't believe that there is romance there. I don't see with my eyes, I don't see CC Courtney, I don't see them actually being together to survive the year. But you know what? I do see Stormy uh, being 
uh, showered with gifts, rubies, and doubloons. Y'all, the two clowns, Justin and Haley Bieber. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, that's easy. This is a no brainer. I don't even need one because they don't have one either. We know for a fact, Justin Bieber will release his highly anticipated album in 2020. Now, I predict that black people ain't gonna buy it because Justin has been inauthentic to black people for a number of years. And uh, for me, I'm just feeling like I'm fed with the options that we have been given, but I also do predict that Miss Haley Bieber will be very supportive of her clown husband so that they can have a baby, get divorced, and get back together. But that's just in my crystal teapot. I don't know if you're looking at what I'm looking in, but that's what I see. We're getting up. Mm. With Miss Megan the Stallion. I predict that she's not gonna find a man. I don't think she needs one, Miss Megan. I think that she needs to be the one little lone pony, you know, with just a saddle made for two cheeks, not four. This is the queen of rap right here. Now let me make sure I rub the teapot and all of that. Let me rub it. This is what I see, y'all. Barbs, hold on to your wigs. Bops, incoming, marriage, secured, Mama Carol, what makes you top 10 on Billboard? Because I'm playing that out every day in the gym. And also, I'm seeing a lot of beautiful bliss for our awesome, iconic, legendary, game-changing women in rap. Uh, Miss Onika Tanya Miraj, AKA Nicki Minaj. Now we got Selena Gomez. Now I'm gonna tell y'all what's gonna happen to Selena right now. Selena is gonna make sure her team is in every control room because what happens is when they not in there, Selena vocals be sounding like they're over here. Notes over here, notes down there. Where are they? She can't find them. Well, we're gonna make sure for every performance going forward, that Selena and her Go Go Gomez team, they're in the control room, they are adjusting levels where they need to be so that her notes can sound like they are in line, military style. Well, we've got Jeffrey. And suddenly this just became the hot seat. Well, we'll say this, we know that Miss Jeffrey will stay rich because the boys and girls are gonna keep buying whatever he put out. See if I can get some clarity. What am I seeing in here? Do y'all see what's in there? I see Jeffrey working with more black people. I will say that. And can I tell you guys why? Why I see it in my crystal teapot? Black people is where the money is. Oh, we got Shane on this one. Shane. Shane. I can potentially see you working on a new series. And you know what I want to see you do and what I think that you might do? I think that you are going to save the career of more brands and organizations. And it ain't gonna be YouTubers that are already existing. That's what I see for you. James Charles. Unfortunately, this is gonna have to be the one bad prediction, y'all. I'm seeing more bad dye jobs. I'm seeing more horrible Coachella outfits. But I do see a very neat, although probably Photoshop, cut crease. And you know what? From time to time, we can all use a little cut crease sister. Well, y'all, it's looking as though the teapot is a little bit empty. These are my predictions for 2020. Now, thank you for hanging out with me here at the beautiful Holly Scoop Studios. Let me know what you think about my predictions and let me know some of your own. What do you think is really gonna happen to Jordan Woods and Megan Thee Stallion? Are they the next Mary Kate and Ashley? Let me know what y'all are thinking. However, before you do that, Make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends, mama, auntie, etc. Be sure to ring a ling 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 that notification bell so that you're always kept in the loop whenever we upload a new video. And also, don't you forget that the morning tea with you, me, and our good sis Madison Hill always fitting the bill will be back January 2nd at 8:30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you set your alarms. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.